Collingwood had won the previous three clashes against Richmond, the last two by a combined total of 175 points. Ruckman Darren Jolly was out with a knee injury, replaced by Cameron Wood. Chasing their first win of the season, the Tigers brought in Will Thirstfield and Brad Miller for Mitch Morton and Daniel Connors. Few expected Richmond to trouble the unbeaten Premiers. Thomas, so the second time he's taken a mark inside the 50. This time he plays on again and takes a chance, looks good. Keep that stop, what's rolling, Dennis? <laughs> Chris Dawes in position A to kick the Magpies' third major before Collingwood led 26-0. Whips it across to Johnson. He loves a goal, Jono. Tries to bounce it through and he has. Ben Johnson from long range. Jack Revolt flew well to set up his first goal. Revolt, brilliant return. Wonderful. He then showed good Looks skills to smuggle through target. another. Good looking kick to Revolt. Held maybe. Should kick a goal. And he does. Jack Scott too. The Magpies made Richmond pay full price for turnovers. Ball looks up, sees Penderbury on his own, walks in, kicks the goal. Eight goals put Collingwood 40 points ahead at the first change. Wood falling to the ground, plucked out of there by Swan. Wood's going to get a free kick. I think advantage is paid. Blair goes in and gets the goal. Dane Swan and Tyson Vickery traded goals during a quiet 10-minute period before Swan fired home his third. Swan, magnificent pick-up and going for goal. Oh, he's, that's brilliant. He keeps it simple, doesn't he? The Tigers kicked back-to-back -back goals late in the half before Dane Beams got the Magpies into the 80s. 45 metres out, it's a good kick. He's got it. So they've got 10 individual goal kickers, Collingwood, in the first half. At half time, Collingwood 13 9 87, Richmond 5 7 37. Kicks to the top of the square and close. <laughs> Toe pokes it through for a second. They can do no wrong, Collingwood. Tigers coach Damien Hardwick admitted some passages of play in the first half seemed to feature boys against men. Richmond raised it up a notch in the third term, kicking the first three goals. Cochin inside 50. Well done, Martin. Oh, that's good. Cochin Martin. Collingwood's Lee Brown was placed on report for this. Well, there wasn't much in it because Graham did a pretty good job trying to protect his teammate. Richmond cut the deficit to 27 points before Dale Thomas tanked up his engine to top gear. That is a beautiful kick. He didn't have to break stride, Thomas, and he's away. Thomas around the outer side, in front of the great sub instead, a couple of answers. Swan is running back, Thomas draws a man, loops it over the top of Hooley's head. Time for side bottom to fumble and still kick a goal. Oh, Daisy Thomas. Brett Delidio had ten possessions for the quarter before this. Delidio with a long, long goal! The Magpies turned into the final quarter with a 26-point buffer and Swan boosted it with his fourth major. And Collingwood get the all-important first goal of the final turn. Thomas then put in a nomination for an Academy Award. Slapped out of there by Delidio, taken by Thomas and his strategy stuff. Oh, the struts. Driving kick from Daisy. Richmond's resistance subsided in the final quarter and Collingwood soon re-established a 50-point margin. Wellingham created space where there was none and kicks the goal. The Magpies marched towards the finals off to a great start with their fourth victory. Bit slick for Didak, gets it across towards a teammate there inside bottom, back to Didak and now the rot is well and truly in. Collingwood's highest ever score against Richmond, winning 24-17-161 to Richmond's 13-12-90. Charles Christian, Big Pond Sport.